Is this the end of the road for America's economy? More and more people are waking up to a world of pain. How do you feel, for example, when you fill your car with gas and see the numbers on the pump climb higher and higher? Or when you go to the store and find your favorite groceries are gone without a trace? How about when you're checking your portfolio statement? Do you feel better off now than you did one year ago? If you're concerned by all of this, you are in good company. Our guest tonight says the very same experts who failed to predict the last financial crisis, the rise of Bitcoin, and the shocking election of Donald Trump are now warning of big trouble ahead. But once again, they're dead wrong. And if you listen to them now, it will cost you dearly. And today, for the first time, she is now coming forward with a stunning new prediction. Over the past 20 years, renowned author Nomi Prinz has leveraged her experience at some of America's biggest financial firms, including J.P. Morgan Chase, Bear Stearns, and Goldman Sachs. And along the way, she's built a global network of insiders at the highest levels of power. It's given her a unique understanding of what's really happening in the financial markets. She says the truth is much stranger than you think. We invited Nomi to join us today because she's one of the few insiders to find herself on the right side of history, not just once, but over and over again. Right now, she says we're on the brink of the greatest wealth transfer in the history of America, a $150 trillion shift that she calls the Great Distortion. And this couldn't come at a more crucial time because understanding the details of this strange event could spell the difference between a long and relaxing, maybe even early retirement and years of broken dreams, frustration and regret. Grab a pen and paper because you are about to find out how you can position yourself to capture your share of this $150 trillion event and secure your family's wealth for decades to come. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Hurt, and if the talking heads in the mainstream media have you seen ghosts of 2008, you're going to want to pay close attention to today's guest. A former Wall Street managing director who walked away from a million dollar career, Nomi Prinz is now a prolific author and one of the world's most respected investigative journalists. In fact, you may recognize her from appearances on Fox Business, CNBC, Bloomberg, PBS, even C-SPAN. Today, she is here to expose really a bombshell story about a strange phenomenon in our financial system. Specifically, it's a $150 trillion transfer of wealth that Nomi is calling the Great Distortion. And it could soon trigger a historic windfall for some Americans while crushing the retirement dreams of many more. Nomi, thank you so much for being with us here today. Hi, Chris, and thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. I, I understand that you do have this bombshell story to share with us. We want to get to that. But before we do, can I ask you about something you wrote back in 2018? Of course. Nomi had a best-selling book. It's called Collusion. And in this book, Nomi, you made a rather scary, <laughs> it's the best, best word I can think of, scary prediction here. I've underlined it here. You basically said, we are facing a collapse, the threat of a collapse, bigger than the 08 financial crisis. And yet now I'm told you're taking back this prediction. Am I right about that? Um, yeah. Wow, Chris, that's a shot to the gut right out of the gate. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Th thanks for that. Um, well, the short answer is yes. A lot has changed since I made that prediction. And today, actually, the last thing I'm worried about is a market crash. The last thing? Well, now you've definitely got some explaining to do. You know, I think a lot of folks out there might disagree only because we know that Netflix didn't it recently crash by 20% in a single day. Facebook, oh my gosh, plummeted by 26%, right? Yeah, that, that's right, Chris. And, you know, throw into that Peloton stock, which tanked by 25% in like 15 minutes, only to soar 25% higher, turning in its best day ever the very next week. When you add in the turbulence of the conflicts overseas, it's no wonder so many people think we're headed for a crash. It's definitely feeling a lot like 2008 out there. Seems like every week there's there's a new warning of a downturn, a crash, you know. Right, and yet you, you are predicting something completely different. Look, Chris, we all know the mainstream media will say anything for more viewers and clicks. But folks who are distracted by this kind of propaganda are about to be left behind. Left behind. So you're making a new prediction? Chris, the media is right about one thing. We are about to witness a huge economic crisis, but not the kind of crisis that most people expect. 
In other words, not a repeat of 2008? No, this is unlike anything we've ever seen before. The best way to show you, I think, is with a picture. Uh, okay, yes. I think we've got that picture up on screen now. So can you, what exactly are we looking at here? Everything about life in America today can be explained in this one chart. Everything in one chart? Everything. From the election of Donald Trump to the rise of AOC, the toxic political climate of today, the soaring price of gasoline, tuition, health care, even the wild, unpredictable shortages that you've seen at the store everywhere. It also explains why most people, save for the rich, are struggling right now. Chris, this chart may not look like much to you, but to me, it's both terrifying and explanatory. Well, you're right. All I'm seeing are a couple of lines here. So why exactly does this have you so worked up? What you see here is a perfect example of something that I call a distortion. In this case, it shows how far the financial world has just drifted from reality. Do you see how these lines start out together and then they, they steadily grew apart? Absolutely. Gap gets wider uh, with passage of time. Right. So if this chart was measuring the, the closeness of a married couple, what would you think? <laughs> it's, they're definitely in trouble drifting apart. Maybe a, a divorce is inevitable. Right. A kind of permanent separation. Yeah. Um, of course, this chart doesn't measure the health of a marriage, but it does show two data points that were once together and have since drifted apart. The top line, it represents the growth of our financial economy. Wall Street, Silicon Valley, the so-called elites. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom line, that's the growth of our wages, which you might call the real world economy. So to use your words, Chris. Yeah, I think I see what you're saying here. Sorry, the financial world is now divorced, so to speak, from reality. That's right. Okay. And the worst part is most people, they're hoping life will get easier and betting their retirement, their lives, their careers on some sort of return to sanity. But that's a losing bet, Chris. If you think things seem unreal now, just wait. Life for most people is about to get much stranger and even more confusing. Okay. No, wow. You, so you just hit us with a ton of bricks there, Nomi, and I know you're knowing, you are aware of that. Are you saying we have to rethink everything at this point, that the chaos we're seeing now across America is somehow with us to stay, it's permanent? Right, by the time we go off the air today, I promise that you're gonna see the world in a totally different way, a much more accurate way. It may feel uncomfortable and different from what you're used to, but it's gonna help you make sense of the strange events to come. All right, I'm gonna try to do my best to hang with you. I guess I'd rather know what is coming and, and brace for that uh, than be the one who gets blindsided, that's for sure. So, Can we put the chart back up for just a second? Thank you. Now, I'm curious, Nomi, on the left side, which I guess would be the origin point, so to speak, you called it the real economy and the financial economy, right? What caused them to disconnect like that? And I'm afraid to ask this, but what's gonna happen next? Those are serious questions, Chris, and I'm going to answer every single one. Okay. But first, Chris, I got a question for you, okay? Sure. I'm willing to bet that you and, and most of the people watching follow the rules, so to speak. I mean, you went to college, you got a job, you worked hard, you have a nice suit, maybe you got promoted, <laughs> you saved money, invested wisely, you followed all those rules, yet still you're falling behind. Does that, does that feel familiar to you? Well, for me, yeah. I don't like to think about it, but yeah, I think most people feel this kind of stress, like they're running on a treadmill, so to speak. Are you telling me this chart explains why? Yeah, it does. And it all traces back to your question. What caused the split in our economy? You don't have to be a historian to get what's going on, but, but for just a moment, let's travel back in time to the 1970s. Okay. Okay. So late in his presidency, Richard Nixon was in trouble. You know, he was fighting a massive war in Vietnam while also launching a huge social program called the Great Society. Now, the war and this huge spending program weren't cheap. Combined, their cost was about $3.2 trillion in today's money. So can you guess how he paid for it all? Uh, the classic ways to raise taxes. Quite a bit, I'm sure. Well, Nixon certainly could have pushed Congress to raise taxes, but he didn't. Okay, so then uh, uh, he borrowed billions of dollars, maybe? That, that's another good guess, but as it turns out, he did something that no president had ever done before or since. He distorted the U.S. dollar. 
meaning? He took America off of the gold standard. Ah, uh, and that kicked off a corresponding distortion in our economy? A massive distortion. Take a look at this. Do you see what happened starting in 1971 here? Yeah, wow. So it, it looks like the chart spikes right there. Exactly. So what you're looking at there, Chris, is it's the U.S. money supply. And from that point on, an explosion of new money flooded into the economy, which on the surface sounds like a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. But where did all that cash go? It didn't go to you <laughs> or me or to our parents. So let's quickly put back up that first chart. Do you notice a pattern? Oh, well, yeah, if I'm, if I'm reading that right, the financial world, Wall Street starts pulling away from Main Street at the very same time. Exactly, 1971. All right, so something went screwy back in 1971, but Nomi, that, that was 50 plus years ago, right? Is that relevant to everyone watching here today? That is a great question, and it may seem like it's a distant memory, but 1971 was a pivotal moment in history that most people don't even know about. It's, it's almost like the dividing line between BC and AD when it comes to our money. Hmm. And the world's never been the same since. Ever since this moment, the so-called Nixon shock, no matter how hard we work, no matter how much money we save, no matter how careful we are with our investments, most people have fallen behind. And I fear that this is only going to get worse for so many Americans. But for people that know what to do, it could hand them a lot of cash in the months ahead. Yeah, you know, I was just thinking while you were talking about how most people used to dream about earning a six-figure salary, right? I, I know I did. Well, even a six-figure income is not what it used to be. Income just doesn't seem to keep up with the cost of housing and education and, and food. Chris, right? has the price of anything gone down since 1971? <laughs> I know. Now that you mention it, I can't think of anything. Maybe disco records. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Saturday Night Fever is on sale somewhere. So let me guess. Is your big prediction today going to be higher prices and out-of-control inflation? No, no, not at all. That, that's what's been happening for decades. Yeah. Prices have risen higher and higher. Houses, cars, medical costs, just about everything is more expensive. But, but the huge distortion that I'm warning about today, it's, it's much, much bigger than that. And it's going to have a far more profound impact on your life than ordinary inflation ever could. Bigger than spiraling inflation and crushing debt? Much bigger, Chris. And that's why I'm calling it the great distortion. As you're going to see in a moment, the great distortion, it, it's already altering the fabric of society like nothing we've ever seen before. Everything from the way we travel, how we invest, where we live, and, and what we do for work and, and play. Um, even the appearance and function of our money could change in the next 12 months as the great distortion comes into focus. And I'm going to show you exactly how to, how to position yourself to profit from that. Look, the simple fact is this. Every single facet of our lives is being disrupted by this $150 trillion distortion in ways that most folks can't even imagine. Some are going to be enriched beyond their wildest dreams. That's going to happen. Yeah. While everyone else will likely be left behind, stuck in a sort of permanent underclass. And that's what makes today such a make or break moment for investors. Chris, if you simply do what you've been told to do all these years, you're just going to be very badly hurt. Most people, I fear, are going to slip into poverty and just never recover. Think about this for a second. Even if you somehow got a 10% raise every year, you're still falling behind. Since 2008, housing has soared by 124%. And the cost of a college degree, it's, it's an incredible 53% higher. Right. And you haven't even, uh, we haven't even mentioned today's prices for food and gas yet. So, Nomi, are all of these distortions housing, education, food, gas, they're, they're all here to stay. They are here to stay, and they're going to get even more extreme. For most folks, this great distortion is going to be a disaster. But those who understand where the money is going to go next, they could capture more wealth than they ever thought was possible. And you know where this $150 trillion is going to flow. I do. Um, I may have walked away from my position at Goldman Sachs, but I still keep my ear to the ground of the big firms that I used to work for. And there are a handful of insiders that I still talk to regularly. Mm -hmm. I also hold frequent meetings to discuss the workings of Wall Street and the economy with leaders around Washington. I've provided my expert opinion on legislation and regulatory matters across the aisle. 
Recently, I was invited by Senator Bernie Sanders to testify before the Senate Budget Committee. And after that, I had a long discussion with Senator Toomey's office about the great distortion. What I've learned, it's going to shock most people. It's the reason why I say we're never going back to normal. It's the reason why I've been invited to meet with the folks at some of the most powerful organizations in the world, like Federal Reserve officials, the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, Google, um, and the United States Senate, the Tokyo Stock Exchange, and the London School of Economics, working so hard to help people take charge of their money and to prepare for what's coming next. Right. Nomi, before you show all of us, viewers at home and myself, where the money is going, I, I would like to know, why do you say that we're never going back to quote unquote normal? So ever since 1971, life's been getting harder for most people. Sure, we've got more gizmos and gadgets and billionaires are shooting themselves into space <laughs> and everything, but we have more money now than at any point in history, and yet it's never been harder to keep up. Yeah, I think most people would agree, but why is it getting harder? The reason is simple. All that money being printed and funneled into the economy, it's not just falling like snow and it's not being spread out evenly. It's, it's piling up in certain places like Wall Street. I understand. The rich always get richer. Right. Do you remember the Great Recession back in 2008 where we just handed trillions of dollars to banks that were too big to fail? The regulators warned Americans that if we didn't bail out those banks, we'd have a full-scale collapse. I remember that well. Did you get any of that money? <laughs> Boy, I don't recall getting a check in the mail. Of course not, right? Most of that money stayed right on Wall Street. Not only did the bailouts line the pockets of Wall Street and, and gut the real economy, they made that distortion much, much worse. Okay, so if I'm hearing you correctly, this distortion began five decades ago, and it's made life in general much much more difficult for most of us, and now it's getting worse. Yeah, so think about it like this, Chris. When was the last time that things felt right in America? In the past year or two alone, we've seen massive protests, fires, looting in the streets, a huge trucker convoy clogging the streets of Washington, D.C. while I was actually there. <laughs> we've seen wild and unpredictable shortages of everything from toilet paper to automobiles, along with lumber, eggs, even the copper penny has been distorted. You know, it's now worth three cents thanks to the soaring price of copper. But one key driver of our economy has become more plentiful than ever. Let's take a quick look at another chart, okay? Do you see the arrows I've drawn? The green arrow shows money supply before the Great Recession. Right. Pretty flat. Right, right. So now look at the red arrow. Do you see what happened in 2008? Yeah, the chart suddenly spikes higher. Why is that? That was fall of 2008, actually October 3rd, to be exact, the day the federal government bailed out the Wall Street banks. Ah. But that's not all they did. Over the next 12 years, the Fed printed so many dollars that our money supply doubled by 2020. In other words, our government hasn't tapped the brakes on the printing press in any meaningful way since 2008. And that's why today, it's become harder and harder for Americans to make ends meet. There's just simply no way to get ahead of this by earning money in, in a job. So I, I have to wonder if that's true, maybe that's why so many people have thrown up their hands and quit, right? I, I saw a report by CNBC that said 4.3 million Americans quit their jobs in a single month. Yeah, that's right, Chris, and that was just one month. More than 4 million people have walked out on their jobs every single month since late last year. It's simple math. Why would you work hard, take time away from your family in a just soul crushing job mm -hmm. if the price of the things that you want to buy is soaring faster than you can earn that money? If your daily lunch goes up by 10%, are you guaranteed a 10% raise? Or if the cost of your commute zooms 20% higher, is your boss somehow going to match that? <laughs> I highly doubt it. Right, of course not. Um, and that's why most people are falling farther behind. At this point, they'd be lucky to just tread water because of yeah. the Fed's exponential money printing. So if you keep doing what you're doing, expecting the world to make sense, you're going to be in for a lot of pain in the weeks ahead. Just take a look. Whoa. That's exactly the reaction I expected, Chris. <laughs> if you think doubling our money supply between 2008 and 2020 distorted our economy, what do you think happens? when they inject tens of trillions of dollars 
into the financial system like they have in the last two years? I can't even begin to guess. And now, now I know a lot of folks are convinced it'll crash. And, and that's exactly what I used to think too. But this chart and also the market's reaction to the Fed, it's, it's just totally changed my thinking about a market crash. Mm -hmm. You see, the mainstream press thinks the Federal Reserve is going to stop printing money to put a lid on inflation, right? But once again, they've got it completely wrong. In reality, the exact opposite is about to happen. With all the turmoil in the markets right now, there's absolutely zero way the Federal Reserve is going to risk shutting off the spigot anytime soon. According to Reason Magazine, if the Fed raises rates by even one point, the national debt would increase by $30 trillion. Can you imagine if rates went back up to 5% or 6% or the historic average of 8%? The truth is, if they stop printing and normalize interest rates, it'll be like pulling the pin from a grenade strapped to their own chest. So it actually sounds like it, it could crush the economy and lead to the Fed's destruction. Exactly. That's not going to happen. It simply can't happen. This catch-22 is what changed my thinking about the potential for an epic crash. The mainstream media will never tell you this, but according to my research, the Fed can't raise rates enough to stop inflation, and they absolutely won't stop printing. Right, right. So in effect, the government is between a rock and a hard place here. That's exactly right. And, and that's why we're seeing all these bizarre things that we're seeing right now in our economy. It's all related. As a result, thousands of Americans will soon become impoverished, and others will become much, much wealthier practically overnight. I used to think we could fix this mess, right? Mm -hmm. I thought there might be a government solution to this picture, but I've come to realize that the gap, it's only getting wider. And that's why it's imperative that you close the gap personally right now. Crazy things are happening in the world. So if you're confused, I get it. None of this is normal. Right. I recently saw a story about this 12-year-old girl who's made almost $6 million on NFTs. Holy cow. That's more than most people are going to make in their entire lives. Right? Um, at the same time, in cities across America, the folks in the middle class are struggling to keep a roof over their heads. Yeah, so two different extremes, two sides of the same coin. Exactly. Many Americans don't even know it yet, but they're soon going to be left behind. It doesn't matter if you're making $50,000 a year or $500,000 everyone's going to feel that pinch. On his recent podcast, for example, billionaire Michael Saylor said, I'm a very wealthy man. I can't afford to buy a house in the Hamptons. Hmm. They're selling houses for $25 million on two acres. Of course, most of us aren't billionaires, and Michael Saylor will probably be just fine. <laughs> but, but now that you understand what's happening, there, there is an upside to all the chaos. I believe that the opportunity to make huge gains with just a few well-placed investments has never been better than it is today. Nobody in authority will tell you this, certainly not the mainstream media, but if you understand where this tidal wave of new money is flooding, you can position yourself to profit from this $150 trillion windfall. And potentially, you could multiply your wealth in the months ahead. And that's why we're here today. And that is where we want to be, right? Sounds like we're getting to the fun part here, because to be honest, Nomi, I'm tired. I, you know, I think a lot of people out there are sick of waiting for the world to make sense again and sick of watching the life we want slip away from us uh, out of the realm of possibilities here. But I am wondering, where is all this money going to be coming from and, and what's behind its move? What's behind it all? Yeah, okay, great question. Let, let's get into that. I know when we throw around a number like $150 trillion, it, it's hard to fathom, but, but I'm not exaggerating. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen alluded to this shift when she spoke to a group of very powerful decision makers recently. She said that we're about to see a global transition for which we have an estimated price tag between $100 and $150 trillion over the next three decades. Okay, global transition. So the U.S. government is driving this distortion? Well, the current administration is heavily involved, along with 136 other countries. More than 90 banks are supporting the plan as well, including the Bank of America. And billionaires like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk recently invested a portion of their own fortunes to get in front of this massive transition. All right. So the, the government, big Wall Street banks, you mentioned Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk. I, I'm a little stunned by this, Nomi. What, what is all this going to mean to investors today? Great question, Chris. In a minute, I'm going to show you my favorite way to make huge profits as this great distortion plays out. 
But first, I'd like to show the viewers what happens when you're able to connect the dots as a huge distortion is unfolding. When you think back to the Nixon shock in 1971, mm -hmm. the value of the dollar plummeted and prices went haywire. Folks who sat on the sidelines just waiting for a return to some sort of normal were crushed by inflation. But the investors who bought hard assets like gold, they could have earned an incredible 2,300% return. And, and we saw a similar situation in 2008. Yeah, I remember the government bailed out the banks. Right, to the tune of $7.7 .7 trillion. And again, most folks who were in the wrong place got crushed when stocks collapsed and real estate values plummeted. But, but those who were able to see through the carnage and spot the pattern could have pocketed huge gains. Investors who took a stake in Apple in 2008, for example, and held on until today, they could have turned $1,000 into $32,500. And we're seeing a similar opportunity play out again right now. Once again, many people will be crushed, while a handful will spot that pattern and they're going to prosper. Chris, do you, do you see what all these moments had in common? Uh, well, it, it, I guess, seems to me, at least on the surface, that these were all responses to some crisis or another, right? Bingo, that's right. We have seen one crisis after another. And the same response has always happened, more money printing. Mm. And that's driven the huge disconnect between the real world and the financial world that I, that I showed you before. Okay, I got it. And all that money swirling around does create this massive distortion, in your words, which is going to be harmful to most people and yet helpful to others. That's right, you've got it. Okay. Yeah, wars, pandemics, deteriorating social conditions, they're all met with massive money printing. But we haven't seen anything yet. In the months ahead, the great distortion is about to become a runaway train. We're already seeing the early signs of change in everything from investing to technology to art, transportation and entertainment, even food is being disrupted. But for most people, the next stage of the complete transformation that we're about to see will be every bit as confusing as electricity was when it first lit up cities across the American frontier as jarring as the automobile replacing the horse and buggy against the wishes of millions in America. And even more revolutionary than radio, the TV, and the internet, which have all transformed the way we communicate. 10 years from now, we're gonna look back and realize nearly every single industry has been fundamentally reshaped, distorted like nothing we've ever seen before. The great distortion is the biggest transfer of wealth in history. And you can either use it to grow your wealth by leaps and bounds, or you can ignore it and hope for a return to normal and risk missing out on this historic wealth building opportunity. That choice is yours. If you make the right moves, you could set yourself up for the retirement of your dreams. But for most Americans, those who choose to ignore my warning here today, or even worse, those who see it and fail to prepare, well, they may never be able to forgive themselves for missing out. Yeah, you've laid it out nicely here. So well, let me just ask you, what can our viewers do today to avoid missing out? So Chris, I've been following the money on Wall Street and in Washington, D.C. For, for decades. I, I, I have traveled tens of thousands of miles I, uh, from Berlin to Shanghai, Sao Paulo to Tokyo, all to get the pulse of the global economy and what it means to ordinary people and to their money. I have met with government leaders and, and financial movers and shakers around the planet. And, and that's while writing six books on economics, history, the stock market, and, and Wall Street. And my seventh book is actually called Permanent Distortion, How the Financial Markets Abandoned the Real Economy Forever. And that's going to be available in bookstores around the world this fall. But if you wait until then to take action, you could miss out on the bulk of the gains. And I just don't want anyone to miss out. That's why I've distilled the key points in a special report to show today's viewers my very favorite way to profit from this $150 trillion wealth transfer. Inside, I'm gonna show you all the details of a small firm that could soar as it disrupts one of the world's most critical industries. And as we've seen over the last few months, conflicts around the world and shortages at home have injected an urgency into the plans for a new energy reality. We can, we can no longer rely on foreign dictators and adversaries for America's energy needs. Most people don't even realize it yet, but many are still living in the realities of the past. 
but the energy industry, which is worth more than $2 trillion, is one of the biggest industries being transformed by America's great distortion. How so? I mean, what are these changes going to look like? Well, they're already happening. Look at what just happened at ExxonMobil, for example. Chris, would you believe me if I told you the world's biggest oil company just put three people on its board that, that hate oil? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Right, and that's the trap many are going to fall into, thinking that way. But, but you can avoid the trap if you understand this one fundamental thing. The world that we grew up in is gone. And this trend toward new energy, it's, it's inevitable. It's going to advance regardless of anything else that happens and, and whether we like it or not. And ultimately, it's going to turn out to be one of the biggest drivers of investment dollars in this $150 trillion transfer of wealth. In my special report called the number one stock for America's great distortion, I'm going to show you my favorite new energy stock. And it's owned by just about every major institution on Wall Street. Everyone from Citadel to Vanguard and Morgan Stanley, they can see what's happening. Mm -hmm. And in the last 12 months, Wall Street has bought almost 60 million shares in this company. Okay, so let me interrupt you there, Naomi, because if, if Wall Street seems to be in love with this stock, isn't it too late for us to invest? No, it's not, not at all. Um, remember, Chris, the new energy trend, it's one of the biggest trends in the world, and we're still early in it. We're just getting started. Okay, so in, in the report that you mentioned, are you talking about a, I'm just guessing, is this a solar stock? or maybe wind energy? No, Chris, it's nothing like that at all. Those things are still years away from, from fully disrupting the existing system. The company that I've found is a cutting edge tech stock inside of the energy sector. That's what makes it so cool. Already 76% of Fortune 50 companies are customers of this firm. Its fast growing portfolio of patents gives it a huge advantage over the competition. And its technology, it's won awards from Goldman Sachs, the World Economic Forum, CNBC, and more. And here's the most important detail for our viewers at home. Congress recently earmarked billions of dollars for this firm's cutting edge technology. Wow. So how high, can I ask, how high do you think the stock is going to go, Naomi? Well, the Motley Fool says it could be a 10-bagger. And, and over time, I think it could do even better than that. But I'd say it could easily double or triple in just the next few years. Well, considering today's markets, that would be fantastic. So let me ask you, how can someone like me or, or everyone watching at home, how can we get our hands on a copy of this report? I'm really glad you asked that, Chris, because as I mentioned a few minutes ago, I, I do have a book coming out in the fall, mm -hmm. and my publisher doesn't want me to spill all the details and torpedo book sales. <laughs> so we've decided to compromise on a solution for today's viewers only. I've agreed to reserve the first edition of the number one stock for America's great distortion 10 times gains on a small firm disrupting a critical American industry and send it only to folks who join my flagship investment newsletter, Distortion Report, here today. And in exchange for limiting the first run to folks who subscribe, the publisher of my Distortion Report newsletter has agreed to let me offer my work at a steep discount exclusively available on this page for folks who see this interview. Uh, so this is great. Nomi, this report now, this is not going to be available in bookstores or on Amazon. No, right? no, Chris, never. The only place you can get this report is right here. And you've negotiated a huge discount on behalf of today's viewers. That's great. How can we get started specifically? Well, before I explain the 75% discount and how to get started, I, I just need to share an important word of caution with our viewers. A lot of people who don't understand what's happening are about to get burned by this distortion. But when you read my work, you'll see the world in a completely different way going forward, a, a more accurate way. You'll instantly be able to cut through all the noise and spot the world's biggest trends. Yeah. Nomi, what do we need to look out for to figure out what's noise and, and what's real? That's a good question. I'll illustrate my point using infrastructure as an example. Infrastructure, so roads, bridges, sewers, things like that? No, again, Chris, that's the old paradigm. Today, <laughs> I'm talking about an entirely new kind of infrastructure spending with far more upside for investors. Mm -hmm. As we speak, Congress is spending billions on a massive new electric vehicle charging network, and for good reason. Because without a robust, fast, and reliable charging network, electric vehicles are, are nothing but fancy lawn ornaments, really. <laughs> um, so forget roads and bridges and the typical boring infrastructure investments you've heard about from the mainstream media. That's, that's the kind of noise you need to learn to ignore. 
I found a firm focusing on a different kind of infrastructure with substantially more upside for investors. And it's not an electric car company or an electric vehicle charging company, but it does hold the key that enables both of those to operate. And I'm definitely not talking about commodities like nickel or lithium either. So I'm guessing this has got to be a semiconductor company that you're talking about, or maybe a firm developing a, a, a cutting edge battery? Chris, it sounds like you're really up to speed on this industry. Th those are awesome guesses, really. But let's zoom out and, and let's look at the big picture. Millions of people are charging blindly into electric vehicle stocks, charging stocks, batteries, and commodities. Mm -hmm. They're seeing dollar signs because the rollout of electric vehicles seems inevitable. But this could prove to be a really risky move. Now, I found a firm almost everyone is missing when they consider investing in the electric vehicle industry. But without the product that this firm produces, the electric vehicle industry simply can't exist. Again, it doesn't manufacture electric cars or batteries or chargers or computer chips. But electric cars and many other modern conveniences would be impossible without its products. And that's why I put together another special report. It's called the electric car myth, the hidden key to unlocking 23 times profits in electric vehicles. This trend is so transformative and world changing, it's gonna be with us for the rest of our lives. These charts are a perfect illustration of the growing demand for electric vehicles in the years ahead. And in my newest report, I detail a stock that holds the key to trillions of dollars in growth and innovation. Right, so Nomi, let me ask you this. How do the shortages and the inflation that we're seeing around the world right now, how do they affect this stock? That's a great question. While many electric car stocks will be hurt by inflation and shortages, this stock is virtually inflation proof and it could actually play a key role in solving many of today's supply chain problems. That's incredible. And so this report, is it going to be available in bookstores or is it also that's it's just being offered for today's audience as well? The electric car myth, along with the number one stock for America's Great Distortion, is only available for today's audiences. That's great. And how do we get our hands on that report? It only takes a minute to get started, Chris. I'll, I'll explain how in a moment, but before okay. we get to that, I, I want to show the audience one more huge trend that I discovered from my network of Washington, D.C. insiders. Yeah, okay. Y a few minutes ago, you did mention how you've worked across the aisle to give economic advice and spoke with, I think you mentioned Senator Toomey's office just a few weeks ago. That's right. I met directly with prominent lawmakers, and I've even given testimony, as I mentioned, on the floor of the Senate. I've also been invited to speak in a small closed door meeting with the world's central bankers, including former Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen. Yeah, it, it, you really have shared the stage with some, some of the world's most powerful people, that's for sure. I, I have, and I can tell you, they don't always like what I have to say, <laughs> but, but they always do listen. In fact, some of my contacts on Wall Street have called me directly to tell me that they agree with my message. They just can't say it out loud. Ex absolutely. They can't publicly agree with a lot of the things you say. Not sure. publicly, right. It would cost them their jobs possibly mm. if they did, but many of them agree with my messages about the corruption on Wall Street. And that's why they still share important information with me that comes across their desks when they can. Insider information? No, no nothing like that, Chris. Okay. Everything that they share is public. It's just not easy to find unless you have connections to show you where to look. Mm. And right now, my connections are telling me about an other huge opportunity for investors. It is without a doubt one of the biggest opportunities we'll see as the great distortion unfolds. As we know, Chris, the events of the last two years have irreversibly changed the world. The pandemic, the conflicts overseas, shortages and inflation, the changes that we're seeing today, they usually take years, sometimes even decades to happen. And now things are getting harder and harder to recognize from one month to the next. I've already shown you how big energy and transportation are being transformed. We're also about to see massive changes in the $23 trillion world of big finance. In the months ahead, central banks around the world are planning to go digital. Many of the legacy banks you've heard of, where you probably even keep your money, like Bank of America, Chase, Citi, Wells Fargo, they're about to be reset, overhauled by a new type of technology called FinTech, which is short for financial technology. Yeah, can I ask you, what exactly does that mean for the banks and, and all of us, you and me? Essentially, it means the function of our banks is about to change. They probably won't raise public suspicion about it by changing the signs on your bank's branches, but hmm. according to my sources, 
the Federal Reserve will soon own all the banks and your local branch it's simply going to be like a licensee of the Fed in other words the banking infrastructure is being rebuilt from the ground up and very few Americans are aware this is even happening we are right on the verge of a once in a generation opportunity to profit by investing in the companies that are building out the architecture for this massive shift hmm. uh, put simply financial technology is revolutionizing the $23 trillion old guard banking industry. You see, over the past three years, while the total value of U.S. bank stocks has slid by 30%, the total value of fintech stocks has increased by 272%. This chart shows the early stages of this huge distortion in action. It's amazing. Why don't we hear about this shift in the news? I mean, this seems to me like it should be a front page story. I, I totally agree. But yeah, I got to remember the central banks and the folks on Wall Street, they want to keep this transformation under wraps for as long as they possibly can. So they can get in front of it first. Of course. And to avoid panic. This reset will be a huge shock when Americans catch on. That's why the average person won't hear a word about the story until it's obvious to just about everyone. And by then, it's going to be too late. Yeah, the profits will be gone. Right. The same way it works with any world changing investment story. That's why if you're going to invest, I'd recommend you do it right now, today. And I found a small company at the center of it all. They're building the bridge between the legacy banking world and a new financial system. This firm recently bought the assets and the intellectual property to build what could become one of America's first government accepted stablecoin networks a project that they aim to launch before the end of 2022. Nomi, if I'm understanding you correctly, you're saying this, this small firm you're talking about intends to modernize the financial system with the support of the U.S. government? That's exactly right, Chris. And that's why I expect that this company is going to become the leading firm powering the global payment system going forward. It has the intellectual property, technology, and the engineering expertise to launch a global payment system that handles every single currency from every country that's going to be faster, easier, and more cost effective than every existing solution. That has got to be trillions of dollars. It was more than $5 trillion just in 2020. And I've seen projections that it's going to be more than $11 trillion in the next few years. This firm is exactly what I look for to recommend to readers of my Distortion Report newsletter. It's, it's as close to perfect as it gets. Mm -hmm. Its financials are terrific, its management team is world class, and it's developing an asset that could become a global standard in the next 12 months. Our viewers today can get all the details in my special report, Bank to the Future the virtually unknown firm transforming the $11 trillion global payments industry in the next 12 months. Okay, so between the number one stock for America's great distortion, the electric car myth, and bank to the future, love that name. I do too. I, I don't know which one to read first here. So let me ask you, how can our viewers take action and get everything we've discussed here today? Chris, you've read my mind. That's the number one thing I recommend right now. At this critical moment in history, it's important to take action. As I showed you today, a handful of historic events starting in 1971, the Nixon shock, the Great Recession, and the global emergencies we've seen over the past two years has distorted the American economy to the point of no return. The cost of living is spiraling out of control, and a new historic shift is upon us right now. Store shelves are bare with no end in sight, and even folks who have done everything right are finding it impossible to get ahead. The popular stocks of the past few years are crumbling, while a few key sectors in our economy soar to record highs that would have been unfathomable even six months ago. If you take a position in the right investments today, there's a chance that you're going to walk away with more wealth than you've ever thought possible. But if you get into the wrong ones, or if you just stay on the sidelines afraid of the next huge shock, you could be left behind. And that's why I wanted to make it as simple for you as possible to position yourself on the right side of this distortion. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, my publisher has agreed to let me share all of my most critical research with today's viewers at a really steep discount. The normal price for Distortion Report is $199, but today, 
my publisher has authorized a one-time 75% discount. So you're just going to pay $49. And if you sign up right now, I will send you immediately and by email the reports I've shown you here today. So that's the number one stock for America's great distortion, 10 times gains on a small firm disrupting a critical American industry. The electric car myth, the hidden key to unlocking 23 times profits in EV. And three, bank to the future, the virtually unknown firm transforming the $11 trillion global payments industry in the next 12 months. Each yours when you try out my flagship investment newsletter, Distortion Report, for just $49. Nomi, this is fantastic. Can today's viewers actually, I'm curious, can they see the reports before they buy? No, my publisher wouldn't let me do that, but here's what I can do. If within the first 60 days viewers decide for any reason at all that my reports fall short of expectations or if distortion report is simply not right for them, that, that's perfectly okay. Mm -hmm. They can simply call my friendly Florida-based customer service team and let them know and we'll send a refund for every penny. Uh, that's great. Absolutely no risk to look over all your work. None whatsoever. You know, it's how I would want to be treated if I were in their shoes. Now, I'd like to leave everyone with a final thought. In the past two years, our world has been turned upside down. The central banks have printed trillions upon trillions of dollars. Ordinary folks across America are waiting, hoping for some return to normal. Those who don't understand what's happening are finding it harder and harder to get ahead, and many will never recover. I have no doubt the Great Distortion is an event that we're still going to be talking about 50 years from today. But if you take the right steps immediately, you're going to have the opportunity to multiply your nest egg with a few simple strategic moves. You're going to find out how you can set yourself up to create generational wealth for many years to come. So please, click the button below to get started right now. Nomi, before we started today, I'm not sure I really understood why America's economy has felt off for the better part of the past decade, but now uh, I know exactly why, and more importantly, what I can do to prepare, and I want to thank you for that. You get the credit for that. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Chris, thank you so much for having me on. And to everyone at home, thank you so much for watching. And again, folks, for the rest of the story and instant access to Nomi's research, all you got to do is click the button below and you can get started right now. Nomi.